Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can verify your domain in AWS ACS and send email using the credentials. So let's get started. So uh, I am in my ACS uh, dashboard here. And uh, if I go to the account dashboard, my account is uh, approved for sending production emails. And I have a limit of 50,000 emails per 24 hour per day. Now, if you do not have this account approved, then you can apply for approval. If I switch to my region, like if I go to a different region like Seoul, then uh, that region is not approved. You have to apply for each region for production access. And as you can see, this is uh, exactly the loop that you will get if you don't have production uh, access approved. So you will look. Uh, something like this, your ACS account is in sandbox and this particular region. And then you need to apply for a production uh, production level email sending. So unless you apply or you get approval, you will not, you will not be able to use ACS for sending emails. You can only send emails for some verified email addresses. Okay. That's not really the purpose because your limit is very low and you can only send like uh, verified email addresses or accounts. So um, let's switch on to Singapore where my account is approved. And uh, here you can see I have 50,000 limits. Now let's verify a domain. So let's uh, let's say I have a domain card with ethic.com and I wanted to uh, verify this domain. So I'm going to click on identities and uh, click on create identity. Choose domain, put the domain name here, and then uh, you can click on advanced DKIM settings and you can choose easy DKIM. Then you need to choose the signing key length. I choose uh, 2048 bit, the first one. Publish DNS records to root 53. That is not uh, needed because if your domain is hosted somewhere else, like I'm hosting my domain in Cloudflare, this is my DNS manager. So you don't need to use this. But if you are uh, keeping your domain in root 53, then you can take this box. OK, I'm unchecking this because I'm putting my domain somewhere else. The next thing is DKIM signatures. I put it enabled. Create identity. OK, this will create an identity. And uh, to verify this ownership, here it says to verify the ownership of this identity, there are some CNAME records needs to be added. So here, if you go down here, you'll see you have to add three CNAME records for your domain. Now I can click copy and then I go to the DNS manager and click on add a DNS. I'm going to choose CNAME, put the name here and then I copy again and then I put it here. Here, say similarly, I click here, which was seen in copy the value again, paste it, save one more time, copy the name, click add, choose CNA. And then click on that. Save. That's it. So we added three records that is specified here. Now we need to give some time. Uh, depending on your DNS manager, it might be five minutes or 10 minutes, or sometimes it can take about an hour. So I'm going to pause for a moment and we'll come back again when the uh, DNS record changes propagated everywhere. OK, I'm back here. And uh, if you see uh, learnwithatik.com, the domain is now verified. And uh, using this domain, I can now send emails. Right. So my domain is verified here. You see everything is successful. What I have to do is I need to go to IAM and then create an IAM user who has a kind of like SMTP access. Or maybe you can click here. Uh, 
configuration sets, SMTP settings, right? Manage the existing SMTP credentials, or you can create SMTP credentials. Click. Okay. Now you get a uh, SMTP username and SMTP password. I can copy this and I can use any script like Node.js or even uh, Python to send emails. So let's try to send email. So open VS Code. And let's see if I can open a project temporarily. Let's see. Which is projects and maybe temporary project. Let's see. Okay, we have a project here. I can test with node chess, send email dot chess. <coughs> Send email via SES. Okay, the region is, uh, I need to set the region to uh, AP Southeast 1 because there is the region. Okay, um, let's try Let's see. So I'm going to send email uh, to one of my email addresses, which is um, a at the rate of pp.xyz, uh, right? The source is like, uh, I have to use uh, my domain name. So this is the domain name. I can click on identities. So there should be a new identity called runwithclip.com. You can use any email addresses as a source. So for example, I can see uh, info and then info at the rate of runwithclip.com. Okay, so this is the body, and then uh, I have everything. Okay, and uh, this looks good. I need to set up uh, the credentials, right? So uh, let's just ask the Check the actually check the documentation. WS SPK is sent email SS. Okay, I'm back. So I check some documentations uh with uh, like uh that GPT and uh, found a script that sends uh email with uh, Node.js, right? This is the script and uh, it requires AWS SDK client ACS. So I can just run this here and add and paste. This will install this uh, SDK, AWS SDK for ACS. And then you need to uh, use the access key and secret key. Access key and secret key here. So access key is this. I copy the secret key, put it here. I just Give an example. Then here is the params where this is the sender. So I am sending on behalf of my domain. So I can use any addresses like info or no reply, anything at learnwithadic.com. And this is the destination where I will receive the email. This is the message subject. is testing. So I just put the message and here's the body. 
sending email via SES works. Great. So this is the script, sending the email, I run the script and let's see what happens here. So node send email.js. Here I run it. It says email sent successfully. That's good. I go to my uh, email client. I refresh the page. I should receive a new email. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. So it's coming from no reply at learnwithatic.com and sending via ACS works. That's it. Awesome. Right. So this is the way that you can use ACS to send emails and you can use these. Uh, access key and selected key with a lot of other places like WordPress plugins or maybe Python, whatever you want. So the process is simple. You just first uh, get approval from AWS to send uh, email as a production level. So you get outside from the sandbox. Then you get to verify your domain uh, by adding some CNAME records. So if you, these are the CNAME records that you have to add. I already added, so that's why it's not showing, but it's available in my DNS like these three. And once you have uh, done this, then you can go to I AWS IAM, and then uh, this is an IAM user, give it AWS ACS full access, create a an user, ACS full access, get the security credentials, create an access key that I just created and use the access key here. Access key, secret key. That's it. You should be able to send emails to any email addresses. And you have the limit of sending up to 50,000 emails per day. I just sent two emails to, but I could send 49,000 more emails to them. That's a huge limit. And it's almost free, free of cost. So that being said, it's the video regarding AWS ACS. If you have any queries, you can contact me. My email address is. Um, info at article.xyz. You can contact me, you can connect with me with LinkedIn or maybe uh, contact with me via Facebook as well. Thank you everyone. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.